What's up everyone? Welcome to the Coronation Night of Miss Earth 2023. We are live here from the event which just started and we have the red carpet just behind us. As you can see, we're all dressed up. It's super hot here in Ho Chi Minh, but it doesn't matter because we're all so excited for the finals and just to see how the girls are going to perform. Uh, if you haven't been following this, I've been here in Ho Chi Minh, I mean in Vietnam, for the past two weeks, just covering every single moment, getting to know the delegates, and just like trying to collaborate as much as we can with the organization to promote all of the activities and the hard work that Carousel Productions as well as TNA Entertainment has been putting into the show. So tonight, I'm gonna be taking you alongside all of us to show you what the experience of Miss Earth is like. Uh, hopefully give you a glimpse behind the scenes. I have my ticket. I have my predictions everything which I haven't disclosed But I will compare my predictions to the actual events of the show and we just hope that You can come with us and enjoy the experience just as much as those who are here in attendance So go ahead and drop a like on the video subscribe comment do all of the things that help the channel down below and Let's talk less and go inside the venue. Woo! Let's go, Philippines! Liana! <laughs> we love you! <laughs> Alright, I'm in. As you can see, there's the logo of Miss Earth just behind here. Uh, they're doing the red carpet as well. So we have a bunch of people here just walking the red carpet. It will be my turn in just a few moments. Uh, but we have a little issue. There's some rain. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's little like raindrops um, coming through. So hopefully it's just gonna be like something momentary that is not gonna last because it's an open venue. So we don't want any rain ruining or changing the plans for tonight or how the show is supposed to go. So let's cross fingers and hope for the best. Oh my God, my makeup. <laughs> DJ Veronation from the carousel. Also the vice president of the carousel for wizards. So let me finish their photos and then I would love to invite them over here for the interview. And everyone, I'm super excited to give you a first glimpse of the venue, what it looks like from within. I'm actually on the VIP section right now and I'm finally going to turn around the camera for you guys to see. I'm going to say I'm very impressed because last night I was here uh, during the rehearsals and it looked nothing like this, especially the stage, uh, the lights. And now that it's nighttime, it all just makes sense. So let's turn the camera and see, unveil the stage of Miss Earth 2023. This is what you guys can expect tonight pretty massive especially when you look at the size of the audience it's very early so people are still arriving I just came from this area over here with the red carpet of course and this is the view of the stage insane it's gonna be a great show so I'm very excited but of course I'll try to get closer to the stage to give you guys um, a closer look Okay, so I'm seated right now and I have to admit that I got really really lucky because I was seated at a different part of the venue Actually right there where you can see that there is the mechanical arm and that thing was going up and down in front of me So that was gonna cut my view for the entire evening. So I talked to my friend. He got me a much better ticket So right now this is the view of the show <laughs> This is going to be my view for the entire performance and hopefully it's gonna be a lot better because it allowed me not only to better witness the budget but also to film better footage for you guys to keep you updated in real time and as a plus I'm also seated here with my friends from the media um, we're all of this together we're all here together so it's great that we get to share the moments and just uh, you know bond while we fangirl over the girls of Miss Earth 2023 so uh, I don't know how much longer before the show starts it's only 637 and supposedly starts at 7 but that might be in Vietnamese time, so we shall see. Uh, as you can see, I'm already sweating, so pray for me, but I will enjoy nonetheless, and I'll keep you updated, of course. All right, everyone, the show has officially begun. Here we go. Before we begin, very importantly, we would like to acknowledge 
Hey guys, so the show is just about to start. Uh, they're just announcing the sponsors and giving special awards on stage. I try my best to go backstage and uh, get some like footage of the girls. Hopefully wish them good luck, but that was not possible, understandably, so no problem at all. At least I got to go in front of the stage and meet Miss Lorraine, Miss Peachy, Miss Astrid, and the entire Miss Earth team. So I took a photo with Miss Lorraine, which I will post somewhere here. Um, if I have it <laughs> and now I'm back in my seat because the show is just about to start so I guess at the next thing you will see it will be the girls on stage so here we go, here we go! it's show time everyone <laughs> segment that we have not seen just yet because during rehearsals they had choreography this was just kind of a cute entrance but there should be a lot more all throughout the show not sure which segment it is but we'll find out in just a few moments going with the opening number this is the introductions and I am multitasking here multitasking Okay, so first impressions, I think that the show is a little more slow paced than what I thought it would be for the opening number. The music is really calming, it's really slow, and the girls really have a lot of time. That's on the upper side. They have a lot of time on stage to really uh, shout their names and introduce themselves. So, this is what we're dealing with. Here she is, Miss Brazil! Everybody scream for Canada! I was wondering why it was so slow paced maybe there was something technical going on but no this is how it is the girls are having a lot of time on stage they introduce themselves they look at the camera they look at the audience at the end they pose before they go and to be honest I kind of like this because enough exposure for all of them since very soon we're gonna be cutting to a top 20 so here they are I almost missed Ileana because I, my camera was off, but I think I got the very last part of her announcement. She looks incredible, great energy, and she went with Republica of Filipinas. So, that's new. So, that was it for the introductions, but I believe we have a number right now. I see the girls are coming back on stage, and this is the choreography that I was telling you about earlier. Look at the colors.
happy to see Mena. She deserves all the spotlight that they're giving her right now. And I think the girls are doing a great job so far when it comes to the production, the dance and everything. So. coming back on stage so I believe this is another dance number for them so finally <laughs> Scores. They're just about Based to announce the top 20. So we're going right Is into it. Ready? I'm not ready. No, no, I'm not ready. Right. Hold your breath, ladies, in no particular order. First, go back to the top 20. Is oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who? Guys, be careful. Thailand might win tonight. I have a little feeling. So for me, it was initially Noah from Netherlands, but Thailand is not far behind. So you never know. Oh my 
my god, where is Canada? Oh, she's there, she's there, she's there, okay. Canada, don't scare me, girl! I'm so happy. England is in also. <laughs> she saved it. She saved it. She recovered. There she is, my girl. Come on now. happy for Mauritius because they usually don't get much recognition in pageantry but this girl is super strong so nice so kind and so smart so I'm happy for her there she is Next up we have Russia. So I just left the venue for a moment to give you some of my thoughts about the top 20 because it was officially announced. As you can see, the venue is right behind me. So I just came here to have a little bit more space. So, no surprises for me. The girls who made the top 20 are super, super, super strong girls. I actually had my own top 20 predictions. I'm not sure how accurate it is at this point. I have to go through it to finally kind of realize what it was. But I'm going to say some surprises in the top 20 that I thought had the potential to be there but maybe you know because of such factor because of what they're looking for this year they wouldn't make it but there they are the front runners i think that all of the front runners are there i mean the top 20 was just announced like a few seconds ago so maybe i'm missing someone but i think that all of the girls that most people were rooting for have advanced to the next stop i was honestly hoping to see a few more girls from africa advancing to the top 20 we only have uh, Zimbabwe and South Africa at the moment. I think that there's at least room for two more that could or should have been there. Colombia, I think that she deserved a spot in the top 20 at least. Um, Poland also, oh my God, Zambia. All of the girls that made it, I mean for the rest, Miss France uh, and Miss Serbia were some of the girls that I had initially on my list that did not make it to the top 20. But I guess we'll have to see how things go and how it unfolds. Uh, big surprises, but still very excited for the show. I'm not gonna lie, my heart is breaking a little bit for the girls who didn't make it, but I knew it was gonna be hard because there are over 80 delegates and there's only 20 spots. But we'll deal with that later. All right, let's go back. What is your reaction, Adam? I'm so happy Indonesia made it as people's choice. I'm so oh. happy. And they said yes. that Indonesia is not often recognized at Miss Earth.
it's already a different format than what we had during the rehearsals. Always, always changes, no matter what. So ladies and gentlemen, I have with me the list of the top 12, and for the sake of transparency and accountability, these have been audited by Erskine Young. If you are ready, we have all our delegates on stage. Let's proceed. Are you ready for top 12? Let me hear you louder. We just had the evening gown competition with the top 12. I didn't take much footage with this camera because I was actually filming everything for my social media on the phone. But the girls are amazing. All the dresses are green because that was the instruction that was given to all the girls and national directors. So, not a lot of different colors, but very, very on brand with the theme of Miss Earth this year, which is Miss Earth's Love Trees. I am going to say I'm really shook and surprised by Iliana's performance because she quite literally became Miss Earth. I didn't see the back part of the dress turning into the thing that Miss Earth is uh, holding. If you know what I mean, like on, in the logo, this is what I mean. Uh, so when you look at the logo of Miss Earth, Iliana quite literally was holding the little thing. Um, yeah, you, you get what I mean, right? <laughs> so now based on this performance, out of the top 12, they will select a top 8, I believe. And then we will move on to the hashtag round. So hashtag is all about mental ability, calm skills. So this is where we see who can speak um, and who can deliver on stage during the finals. So, no pressure, girlies. We have another cut uh, after the evening gown presentation. We're moving on to the top eight, and then we will have the hashtag round. I'm multitasking, filming the vlog, posting on my Instagram. It's crazy, but. And that means Netherlands has to answer the question. Okay. You will have 30 seconds. And may I read the question out loud? Oh. When you hear that sound, that will be time up. And your question is Netherlands. How do you stay positive despite what's happening in the world today? Mm. Good evening. I created a platform called Airbnb. This is more than a platform. It is my. It... <laughs> it is my commitment to the to. The daily deforestation, trees, the lungs of the So it's the lungs of the earth that keep you positive. Thank you, Netherlands. That was a lot of pressure for the first one, but you did play it. Oh, absolutely. That is. And I know. From this wonderful crowd, by the way. The next She's a front runner, but I knew that the QA Brazil. was going to be the roughest part for her. The most challenging part. Brazil will also now we're going to Brazil. Do you think there is already gender equality? Mm. <laughs> well, regardless of anything, I really believe in the proof of human being and uh, <laughs> thank you so much. So, I really believe in the evolution of human being and improvement their attitudes because in addition improves the society will then change the world. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brazil! Wonderful. All right, next up we have... This is a rough start for the hashtag. Uh, I mean, it's not a hashtag, it's just a Q&A segment. What did you say? You know what, Iliana, Iliana might get it. Entering Albania, if they put South Africa. Alright, Vietnam is in. 
So let's see how she does for the host country. Oh my God, I'm praying. And from her home crowd, ladies and gentlemen, Vietnam! Oh, this is an issue that is affecting all of us right now at rapid speed. The question is, Vietnam, what do you think are the pros and cons of artificial intelligence, AI? The good and the bad. I do believe that environmental issues has no borders. And I believe that we live in a world of information and data and overflowing of information and data. So. Um, in my opinion, I believe that artificial intelligence has the ability to help us, but also hurt us. And we need to be very practical in our ability to use technology. Okay. So far the best answer, so far the best answer, not an incredible answer, but it's the best one so far. It was a little big, but a bit more specific, more clear. Um, ooh, Kazakhstan is in the top eight. Artificial intelligence is quite a topic, you know, so maybe something more specific, more relevant, I don't know. Mixed feelings, mixed feelings so far. Alright Kazakhstan, your question is... What do you love about being a woman? Um, what do you love about being a woman? Okay. Um, uh, the other question is, uh, what, no, how do you wish, what do you do to be a woman? Hello, Vietnam. Hello, Vietnam. Hello, Vietnam. Philippines! Oh, very good question. At what age do you think a child should be given access to social media? Since you are Vietnam, I believe that media can truly present itself very disparately but in accordance to how people use it. I believe that when a child is parented by their parents who practice responsible cyber citizenship in which you know what to click, what to read, and who to trust online, then no matter what the age is, then it should be validated and it should be accepted. Liana had the best flow of the night, probably the best of the answer of the night so far. She still went with you know the complex and research words that she likes to that she likes to use. But I will say it does set her apart. And when most people are really really struggling right now, Liana managed to shine on stage. So so far for me, just based on the question, front runner, front runner. All right, Albania is here. For someone who was born in the age of technology, can you imagine living in the past when the internet did not exist? Hello everyone, good evening. Well, in my introduction video at the end, I said I really want to live in a world that my grandparents lived, where nature was our first step, where we would play outside and actually enjoy, get to know each other and respect our surroundings. I do believe that technology right now is very important and it's part of our life. We cannot ignore it. But environment and our surroundings is more important because that's where we were born. That's what protects us and we should protect it. Thank you. I really love Albania's answer because it's very simple, relatable, straight to the point, nothing fancy going on, just, you know, honest, relatable content. So, Panay on Albania. Thailand. Pick one of the two. Thank you, Thailand. Whew, what do you think we should do in an economy where prices are constantly going up? Yes, I believe that right now the economy is going through a crisis. 
Alright, so my camera died in the middle of that, but Thailand got a little bit nervous. Russia saved herself because the translator couldn't do anything for her. Uh, best of the night, Albania, Philippines. And who else? Vietnam. But overall, I must admit, it was a pretty weak Q&A round for the most part. So, I don't know what to expect now. And I also, I'm a little bit surprised that Puerto Rico is not in the top 80. This is the you can't help but fall in love with it. And that has been my way of creating why I care about our Earth, our humanity. Because when I saw the people, their homes, heard their stories, I began to understand their version of the world. Top four announcements. Whoever makes the top four is going home with the crown. Thanks for high. So we just have to determine which crown after the second Q&A round. But everyone who moves on to the next round is going home with the crown. Is this side ready? Is everybody ready? Let's get it on! Why am I so nervous? <laughs> I know, it's the music. Let's go! It's the Thai people over there. It's the Filipinos over there. They're all making me very nervous. It's the Vietnamese everywhere. And here we go, top four. Would you mind if I take the first one? Okay. Actually, you take the first one. I'll take the second one. The first one to enter top four Miss Earth 2023 is Vietnam! I thought you would enjoy doing that. Well, she is now officially in the top four. I'm so confused because they announced her as the top four, but also as Miss Earth. They said Miss Earth is Vietnam, so she was like, That's up. <laughs> there are only four countries on the list. I think the crowd will be happy. This and the next. Sorry. Sorry, I just saying they will be happy with this result. Yeah. And the next country to make it on the list is Philippines! Philippines! Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, there is just one spot left for the top four. I would like to remind everyone once again that the remaining four will automatically be declared as the runners up. Okay. So, so the final position for the top four and potentially your Miss Earth 2023. We have one more round to go through, so this is the potential. Make some noise for... Thailand! Don't get it wrong! Thailand! Thailand! Congratulations to the ladies that made it to top four! Okay. If you would please step forward so the top to receive your out of three as this year's runners-up. One European. I know right now that social media is burning as we speak. I don't even want to look at the live chat, 
but uh, I think that based on the Q&A, these were the better performance. I would say it's fair judgment just based on how much everyone struggled during the Q&A round. So I don't know about you, but I'm pretty happy with the top four based on the performance that we had during the cup Ladies and gentlemen, let me know how you feel. Okay. Yes. All right, now it's time for the final Q&A, everyone. Top four has to answer. Same question for everyone. Everyone else cannot hear. And this determines which crown you get, so no pressure. The question, question is here now. An official at a recent climate conference was quoted as saying, there is no science behind calls for the phase-out of fossil fuels. Do you agree? Why or why not? Vietnam. Can you repeat the question? We'll start the timer again. An official at a recent climate conference was quoted as saying, there is no science behind the calls for the phase-out of fossil fuels. Do you agree with this? Why or why not? I believe that in order to have a more sustainable future, we must um, experiment with nature as well as humanity. And I believe that with anything that comes into our lives, we can achieve it through science or through our own um, humane society as one whole community of our planet Earth. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Vietnam! Thank you, Vietnam. Let's now call Philippines. Juliana! What happened to the Filipinos? They, they're on mute. Juliana! Juliana, you got this! Philippines, same question for you. Hopefully you didn't hear it. But here it is again. An official at a recent climate conference was quoted as saying, there is no science behind the phase-out of fossil fuels. Do you agree with this? Why or why not? Someone who was from the medical field, I do believe that everything leads from science. And I think that the greatest gift that we have in this generation is the sophisticated technical installations that we have. And so there is science in the face of fossil fuels. But one thing that we can also agree on is we can always live the zero waste and sustainable lifestyle. I've always been practicing it because sustainability will always ensure the stability in our future. And if we can master the transferability skills, just face out, then we will have a greener and a more stable picture. Philippines! Thank you very much! Go, Eliana, you went the microphone! Oh my god! I think, I think we're going back to the Philippines for the crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Albania is coming, so I think so far it's going to be top two. I mean, they're all getting a crown, but if there was a top two, I think it's Eliana and Albania, so let's see. Albania, the question is, at an official recent climate conference, they were quoted as saying, an official was quoted as saying, there is no science behind the calls for phase out of fossil fuels. Do you agree with this or do you not agree with it? Why or why not? I do believe that a lot of what's happening to our Earth right now regarding also this problem is because of people, it's because of unawareness, it's because of not thinking that they do really have the impact to do the undoing, to actually make progress in this world. And I believe if we can plant the seed of love, we are, we're going to carry all the other values we need to have. Persistency, consistency, determination, and actually passion for caring for our Earth. I have passion about our democracy, that's why I'm right here in front of you. Vietnam, I think so. So far, it's Filipino. Let's see how Miss Thailand does tonight. To Let's go. Particular pageant. The question for you, Thailand, is: An official at a recent climate conference was quoted as saying, "There is no science behind the calls for the phase out of fossil fuels." Do you agree with this? Why or why not? 
The question is, there was an official at the recent climate conference who said, there is no science behind the phase-out or the calls for the phase-out of fossil fuels. Do you agree with this? Why or why not? Do you believe there's science behind the call to phase out fossil fuels? I believe if the right eyes and ears are on the right thing, like green energy and alternative from fossil fuels, I believe we can make a difference in combating the emissions we are giving out to our planet and helping our planet become a better place by investing and educating people about the green alternative there is. Thank you. Tyler, ladies and gentlemen, and all right. Simple but consistent. Simple but yeah. consistent. So the question and with the four amazing answers we have officially this Vietnam fire. And at this point yes. only we Thailand to water. Yes, we do. We have a few mixed reactions from this crowd here tonight. Earth. And it is a very tough decision. What I think is gonna happen. Only our judges will have the privilege to At least to it's based on the, the answer only. Verdict. We'll be might be soon might here. Albania or Philippines air. We'll Vietnam. see. One or the other. Yeah. Hmm. Announcement time for the winners. So the spotlight can be on our top four. Alright. This moment. Time to announce the top four. The winners is the tonight. moment that every one of you is waiting for. Some might think this moment's been coming for a month because they've been here for a month, but you could say it's been coming for a lifetime. Am I correct, ladies? These ladies have prepared their entire lives for this competition, and it all comes down to the next few minutes. The judges have made their decision. And right now, I would like to receive the important results from. Ernst and Young, the envelope that will reveal who will become Miss Earth 2023. At this point, I just want to oh, say, Indiana! ladies, you make your countries proud, and we would love to have any one of you to be the new Miss Earth. Really but there can be only one. Let's start with Miss Earth Fire, and she will be crowned by Miss Earth 2015 and Julia Ong. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 
Miss Earth Water. For your Miss Earth Water, make some noise. Dig deep. Here in the beautiful Bangkok City, it goes to Vietnam. delegate will be Miss Earth Air. And crowning Miss Earth Air is going to be Miss Lorraine Shook, while Miss Earth 2023 will be crowned by Nina Sui Choi, together with Mr. Raymond Monzon, the president of Carousel Productions, Miss Chu Ngoc M, CEO of TNA Entertainment, and Madame Lui Thi Mi Kang, the founder of Long Beach Pearl. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Earth fans around the globe, oh my God, come on. prepare to meet your new queen. So nervous. Ileana! Miss Earth 2023 oh my God. is. Oh my God. I want to see it again. Lord Jesus. Philippines. It is, right? It is. Okay. That must be the final result. Your Miss Earth 2023 is. Congratulations once again to Albania, the Earth awaits your reign. You guys are amazing! We love you and tonight we have found Miss Earth 2023! And now let's let Miss Earth 2023 take her first walk the reigning champion.
All right, everyone, so there you go. That is the end of the Miss Earth 2023 experience. I was able to get on stage right after the show to get a few selfies with the girls, mostly just chat with them and, you know, catch up because a lot of them maybe I will never see even in my lifetime. But it's been an absolute pleasure to witness this entire thing. Tomorrow I'll ha probably have to uh, watch the show back and, like, reflect on it to give you guys a full review. Uh, I'm also flying to the Philippines tomorrow, so it's a very hectic day. But overall, I'm very happy. I'm proud of the girls. They all fought a good fight. And I hope that you guys also enjoyed this experience coming along with me. There you go. That's Miss Earth 2023. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the things that help the channel. And I will see you guys on the next international, national, local, regional, or even Barangay pageant. Who knows? All right. See you guys. Bye now.